Exposed Forehead shares the making of Tricked Out Tailspin. It's the middle of January, 2022. Today's topic is bass. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm the bass player for the Exposed Foreheads. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about what my process is for turning ideas into songs or at least bass parts. So the songwriting team could be any number combination of people involved in the band. More often than not, it's Mark and Kelp. They'll generate an idea for a song, a structure, an arrangement, and they'll send along some files that have basic sound ideas for the song. And then my role is fairly simple. I connect to a pair of headphones and my bass, and then listen to those tracks that give you the idea and play a bass part that goes with them. So we learned that uh, B.O.B., Bob on Bass, our bass player, who lives a ways away from us, uh, just can't manage the distance anymore. So we're going to have to figure something else out. I'll probably be tracking the bass for Tricked Out Tailspin. And I really, really, he wrote such a great part for it. And if you'll remember, I programmed that with a virtual instrument um, so he could track it. So what I'd like to do today is take that virtual part and convert it to sheet music, which is a way I like to work. And you'll notice that it's... Um, it doesn't know what key it's in, and it's just throwing in sharps and flats wherever it feels like. So I could spend some time cleaning this up and maybe if we get uh, another bass player and somebody who needs to learn this, I'll, I'll clean this up a little bit more. Uh, um, so we're doing track the bass track today for uh, Tricked Out Tailspin. Um, there was a bass track on there when I got the Demo, um, that was Bob, Bob Jorn, and uh, Kelp sent me a chart, and so uh, hopefully it comes out good, and it rocks, and it got a good groove and everything, so uh, we're having a little bit of trouble getting a good bass tone on the recording, but we will get it. Right, Andy? That is correct. Yes, we've already got a uh, level set as we're working through trying to get the bass tone, as Tom said. Um, so we're, we're testing with two different heads here. We've got an orange head and what's the one you and have? An Aguilar. An Aguilar. So we have, we have some tools here to work with in case we have to do some, some swapping out. But we're going to give it a go here and uh, see yeah, what happens. Here we go. Let's try it. We just made, almost made it through. They call me First Take Tommy, so yeah. no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can keep that. Uh, All right, here we go. Here. All right. So for those people probably listening in, you're not going to hear much. All right. <laughs> Are you ready, Tommy? Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, so where are we at? It's September 2023. We've been working on this song probably for a couple of years now. Uh, and uh, what's happened in the meantime is Greg has added, has added his guitar and uh, Kelp has actually added horns. Um, we've got the Stargirls vocals yet to do. Uh, Tom is uh, working on the bass line and uh, things are starting to come together, uh, but it continues to morph and change and grow. 